In 2024, the U.S. Midwest has a 90-year drought cycle, which was last seen in the 1930s in what was described as the Dust Bowl decade. Rates rising, that there will be an accident in financial markets. And that will be the excuse the Fed to the new world will start operating their new currency. If the new world introduces this new currency, it's the beginning of the end of Americans' hegemony. The big change is that we should be focusing on war. As an old wise friend said to me when we were chatting the other day, Simon, we are in World War III. And when you strip out the niceties and see what Washington, London, and Brussels are throwing into Ukraine, not just funds and military equipment, much of which actually never gets there, but the fact from reports that I have that Ukraine's war against Russia is being conducted by American and UK officers somewhere around Kiev. So this is going to have enormous implications for monetary and fiscal policies. First, central banks will be, will have to look at the consequences of war in policy making. Thus, I think it's very likely that with the Fed tightening, less credit going into the system, and with rates rising, that there will be an accident in financial markets. And that will be the excuse for the Fed to stop tightening and to go back by the end of this year, back to QE. Because focus, although inflation will be having a temporary fall, the focus will be much more on weakness of the economy and the start of rising unemployment and the consequences of war that will be bound to come into their thinking. So what we see happening is continued falls in a volatile manner, equity markets into, say, the spring of next year. The dollar falls off its peak and will probably fall by something like 13% into the spring. Uh, commodity markets will continue to fall, um, but Inflation, though having a dip, will still remain high and we will see a resurgence of inflation accompanied by the dollar falling very sharply uh, into later into 23 and 24. And that's uh, late 24, early 25 is when we will get blow off with long-term 10-year U.S. Treasuries by mid-24, probably rising to 11% plus. Uh, so we will have internal uh, problems in the market. At the same time, the war weather in Europe, Asia, or the Middle East, intensify. So that will lead us into, frankly, a depression, which will be similar to what was experienced in 29-32. In that environment, you can see copper prices falling to $6,200 by the spring of next year. And then with QE inflation taking off uh, because of um, oil prices, probably reaching $250 in the middle of 2024, and food inflation having a massive resurgence, first because of the drought in Europe, and secondly, in 2024, the US Midwest has a 90-year drought cycle, which was last seen in the 1930s in what was described as the Dust Bowl decade. So in a nutshell, that's how we see the world evolving. How it ends, who knows? But what we piece together, trying to put our dots together, is that within three years, possibly sooner rather than later, that the new world will start operating their new currency, which is linked to 20 odd commodities. But those commodities 
are not priced in dollars. They are valued in grams of gold. This right. change this changes the global balances enormously. I think it is very likely from my chats in this part of the world that it won't be long before oil is sold not in dollars but in some other currency. First before we get on to that <clears throat> Let me give a, an illustration as to how big the consequences are. We took copper prices back to 1980. And in dollar terms, prices rose by four and a half times and costs rose by three and a half times. Convert the costs and prices into grams of gold. And you had costs only rising by 13% since 1980 and prices only by 48%. So in effect, what <clears throat> the producers of copper were receiving was a fiat currency. It had nothing to do with the dynamics. Of and if you look at a 1980 dollar, today it's only worth 25 cents. I think that this is starting to be thought through within the commodity producing world. Do they want to continue to receive a currency that depreciates in value every year? They want value for what they're producing. The problem then is how is the West, the Western Alliance, going to accommodate this new world? And I don't, I don't have that answer. Um, uh, it could well be that the Western Alliance has to go down that route itself. But these are, this is what will happen, I think, during the years of depression, which we foresee starting late 2024, probably going through into 2027. Yeah, I agree, because um, in, as I said in one report, that if the new world introduces this new currency, it's the beginning of the end of Americans' hegemony. Will they accommodate this? Probably not. So what does that mean? It means war. I won't be at all surprised if by the end of this year, war that's been contained within the Ukraine border doesn't actually go across into other countries. Meaning a, 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 a Russian advance outside of Ukraine into other countries or? Well, I think the, I think, I think the, the West, I think there'll be some event which will force Russia to actually have to use hostilities in order to suppress what the West will try and do, whether it's the Baltic states, whether it's um, Poland, who knows. But I think right. these are the these are the events which are likely to happen in some form or another. It's not going to be a war that is contained within Ukraine.